Talk about perfect timing. Yeah. We couldn't, couldn't plan that any better. No, we couldn't have. Yeah, right? I mean, got through the, the slipperiest part of the trail and we're off of it basically. And all we got is a, look, a few raindrops here. Uh, there's more than a few. I thought we were off the hook. Nope. We get to the end and it starts, starts downpouring and uh, Chris and I are both soaked. back everybody chapped in the right line we're out on the trail today in near Sedona and Cottonwood running outlaw and greasy spoon oh yeah we'll do the job though we'll do the job that's cool that's you need. here's our bathroom oh that's even better all right, here we are. We are west of beautiful Sedona, Arizona. We are out here. It's actually overcast. It's a little drizzly, which isn't too bad. I've actually never done these trails. Uh, so Joe and I are- uh, We've done Broken Arrow. Yeah, but we haven't done Outlaw and um, Greasy Spoon. True. So these will be cool new, trail, new trails to try out and um, show you what they're like. I think on the way out of Sedona after lunch, we might just uh, run into Broken Arrow and, and do that too. Taking a right at the Diamondback Gulch OHB trail sign. Taking a little break this weekend, coming up here with the club, taking a little break from the trailer build. It's actually missing some hardware I've got to go get next week. Just trying to escape the work week. Work wasn't quite so fun this week, and it's not going to be fun next week. Just trying to escape, if you know what I mean. So a lot of these trails out here, they will have a lot of... Uh, touring businesses or Jeep rental places uh, out here showing uh, visitors and tourists uh, the wonders that are out here, especially in scenery. I'm gonna come out here and take advantage of these lands and, and uh, as I'm able and come out here and enjoy the scenery and just be a good steward as best I can and try to be a good example for others and uh, you know, wave and that kind of thing. These trails today are, are pretty easy. Even Broken Arrow, for that matter, is is pretty easy. You know, the, the cool thing is I got started with that Overland trailer build, and I, that's kind of the way I want to go for a little while, is do a little overlanding and a little camping and go check out all the cool sites and go out to some of the places where some people can't get to.
think we're just about to the end of this first part of the trail. Uh, Greasy Spoon. Greasy Spoon really isn't a whole lot more than I think just a nice scenic dirt road. There's a few little rough spots. I mean, it was a pleasurable, pleasurable ride and scenic for sure. It'll be interesting to see what the Outlaw Trail uh, is like. I've never, we are on our way to Outlaw now. Jake, our fearless leader up there, leading us out for our adventure for this afternoon. Thank you, Jake, for the for the trip today. There we go. Outlaw OHB Trail. I want him to see the clip. I said it again. See what? Making the turn. Cliff dwellings instead of cliff. <laughs> cliff. Cliff dwellings instead of cliff dwellings. Yeah, I have to say cliff with emphasis, or else I say cliff. Cliff dwellings. Cliff. Hi, everybody. We're gonna go see the cliff dwellings. That means don't bring a passenger car on this trail. Yeah, don't take your Tesla or your Honda Fit. Well, I'm not gonna bring one of those cars out here anyway. It's back together. The scenery out here is beautiful. Other than the dying tree there. in kind of a nasty spot and then back up kind of wondering what's going on with that jeep looks like they're trying to navigate down that ledge there And she's standing downhill of it too. I see stuff like that and I'm always afraid that I'm gonna see something terrible happen. Of the Outlaw Trail 9549B. That was a lot of fun. All right, we're done with the easy trails. Now we're headed into Broken Arrow. Still kind of an easy trail, but it's fun nonetheless. We're headed back to town on. Oh, she's barefoot, almost barefoot. Socks. Morgan Road for 
Broken Arrow. Here we go. This is a great trail. We've been on Broken Arrow a few times. We, I think we've had every single one of our Jeeps on Broken Arrow, except this one. So this is uh, Chewy's first time on Broken Arrow. Now this is the Gatekeeper. If you can't do the Gatekeeper, just turn around. There were some menacingly dark clouds behind us. They're not really that dark anymore. Not dark anymore. Here, I'll go off this way. They're dark, but not Kind of behind us there. We were wondering if maybe we would get a little rain on this trail. That'd be all right. Not afraid of some rain. Such a beautiful view up here. This is such an awesome view. I'll send you a part of the video. Oh, okay. Going up. Yeah, because I got I got you. Awesome, thank you. Going up. And maybe uh we can figure out double staircase. <laughs> How to which angle to get. Yes. We'll figure that part we'll figure out. That We're part. gonna do the right line. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for doing this with me. Yeah. I appreciate that. Heck yeah. No scrapage. Yeah. That's awesome. I like no scrapage. Second point is next.
close, huh? You're gonna get air. <laughs> yeah, I took the easy way. <laughs> Nicely done, Dad. Good job. All right. I took the easy way. That's okay. You can do it in reverse blindfolded to make up for it. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Look at that and it starts raining right as we get out. Right after we get out. Isn't that, isn't that perfect timing? Perfect timing. It's starting to rain. All right, we made it down the devil's staircase and it actually perfect timing because it's just started to sprinkle and there's probably a big, uh, a good amount of rain coming our way. It is absolutely dumping up on the mountain now. Oh. Perfect timing. Talk about perfect timing. Yeah. We couldn't, couldn't find that any better. No, we couldn't have. Yeah, right? I mean, got through the, the slipperiest part of the trail and we're off of it basically and all we got is a, look, a few raindrops here. No, uh, there's more than a few. I don't know if the camera can see it. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. Downpouring on the mountain. I thought we were off the hook. Nope. We get to the end and it starts downpouring and uh, Chris and I are both soaked. Fine. He's airing up his Jeep over there. We're both uh, kind of under some trees. We got one more tire to go. Then we can get the heck out of here. So, hey, if you like what you saw, consider a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again on the next one. I'm soaked. <laughs>